Paramount, how many screams and paranormal activities would you like to watch this month? Why did they draw it to be day for night? Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! It's a bird! It's da 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 Did the music just stutter? Well, I stand with the mummy and refuse to cross the mummy picket line. Ah, my favorite publishing company, Siegel & Schuster. Never noticed, but Timberg sounds like one of those fake American names from that baseball video game. Maybe this is the Mummy Strikes Out. Mummy's playing baseball. Let's twilight this crap. Faster than a streak of lightning. The lightning strikes like the Mummy will. More powerful than the pounding surf. Yeah, but has Brian Wilson written a song about you? Mightier than a roaring hurricane. These trees are going to get replanted in Seuss Landing. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the Man of Steel. Superman. His cape stopped moving when the Fleischers left. Remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter. A mild-mummied reporter. Yeah. Sorry about that. It was just some leftover fire from the circus cartoon. Our story begins inside a cheesecake factory. Put in the crypt in Kryptonian. This wall promoted Tomb of the Dragon Emperor for years. One of the top men cracked open the crate. Up, Snow White just ate the apple. Dr. Jordan. Dr. Jordan Peterson? Dr. Jordan. Oh no, he milked himself to death while eating a truck of meat. Daily Planet, King of the Slow News Days. Oh no, what will the rest of the Hogan family think? You deny poisoning Dr. Jordan, yet you admit these fingerprints are yours. Yes, but... That's just Lois wearing glasses. How does she not recognize Clark? Oh, sounds like Hogan needs a hero. Clark, it's not the phone, it's the smoke alarm. That fire in the first shot set it off. Dr. Wilson of the Egyptian Museum. Dr. Wade was busy with the house call. May free Miss Hogan. Yes, Doctor. Uh, I, I've been feeling much better lately, but... Okay, I'll buddy Ryan. I'll see you later, Lois. Doctor's orders. Doctor's ADR. Doctor, my eye. Lois, after what you pulled at the volcano, can you blame him for this? After his riddle was solved, the Sphinx retired and works two days a week as a museum docent. All right, Moon Knight crossover. Dr. Jordan was the world's foremost student of hieroglyphics. Wait, that's just the disguise Clark wore last time. Backed by him, even the mummy of King Tush. King Tush. They didn't want to get sued by King Tut. I uncover this ancient Egyptian tablet and find it to be a secret curse of the tomb of King Tush. Funky Tush. He who disturbs the eternal sleep of King Tush shall perish. This tablet may well be Miss Hogan's passport to freedom. Oh, good. Superstition always overturns evidence. Doodlulu, Inspector Lois. Not to be confused with Coma Cat, Metropolis's top pet salon. So this is the part where the gangster dies and our original tour guide comes back. Over 3,000 years ago, the valley of the Upper Nile was ruled by an old and powerful king. Don't get me started on the Upper Fraser. The Lower Nile for many years, and just before the old king died, he called his son to him, the young boy of 12. Tino Tonatini. commanded his giant guards to wear an oath of eternal allegiance to the boy prince. So no story behind the giant guards, huh? In this world and the next. Shortly after, the old king died. And this is how Tannis T was discovered. Now ruled the kingdom of 10 million people. Including Yul Brenner and Jason Mantzoukas. For such responsibility, and being of a sickly nature, soon became ill himself. He was always sick, but he had to become ill. Attended more faithfully than this youth. Yet you can actually watch the budget shrinking the longer we stare at these hieroglyphics. Oath of allegiance, each of the royal gods drank poison. Also, they the really like poison. Continue to protect the spirit of their young king in the Valley of the Dead. Until Prince Alexander challenged death for the king's soul and brought him back to life. Thrill as we watch someone eavesdrop on an after-hours museum tour. In catacombs, Dr. Jordan has reconstructed the burial vault exactly as he first discovered it in one of the pyramids. I hate that this fake museum has better theming than any theme park with Superman. 
he finally duplicated an ancient mystic formula. Baja Blast. Called the fluid of life. I wouldn't call fire a fluid, but that's just me. Just before he was found dead, Dr. Jordan had inoculated each of the mummies of the giant guard. The short is where the anti-vaxxers get all their science. Life, but somehow the test failed. His resurrection test somehow failed? Dr. Jordan was found here at the feet of King Tush. King Tush, as in I'm going to kick your tush. But what you don't know, Mr. Kent... Is how my glasses stay on my face. ...is that Dr. Jordan violated the ancient warning by attempting to open the coffin of King Tush. So did you try telling the police and not just a random newspaper reporter? Yeah, who knew pushing random buttons was risky? A poisonous needle. That's how Dr. Jordan was killed. Yes. And Miss Hogan is a free woman. Because now my fingerprints are on the murder weapon. Under wraps tonight on Disney Channel. Clovis looks like Ponyo. Again, great super hearing, Clark. Oh, that's why the science resurrection didn't work. He forgot the magic laser brooch. Little known fact, being raised from the dead removes your pupils. Oh, come on. Who tied me up? Was it you, Steve? You prankster. Oh no, they drew this guard twice! Time to sing Elvis pastiche songs at Donny Osmond. The sarcophagus should have burped like in Beauty and the Beast. No, Clark Kent was never here, you just imagined him. Yeah, being crushed by pillars warrants a wah 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 wah. Always pick sedate music for your giant mummy attack scene. You know, I'm just going to say it. I miss that weird Lewis guy. Yeah, it's one of those grill-it-yourself barbecue places. Lois, I warned you this would happen if you pretended to be a marshmallow. Hooray, they're defeated! Wait, how many guards are there? Did Superman just break the building with them? Now they're defeated? Was Lois crushed to death? What's happening? Sorry, the exposition ran long, so we gotta stop the episode short. Yes, lucky for you, I was hurt. Lois wasn't actually hurt, she just got inspired to cosplay a mummy. My mummy done told me. Lois needs typing lessons from Strong Bad. Superman will return, or he would if he had gotten his cup of coffee! Hooray! The mystery was solved by... Clark Kent. And then we saw like five seconds of Superman wrestling with some mummies. Happy Halloween? But yes, we got a snippet of Man of Steel versus the Mummy, the combination of two failed cinematic universes, combining into the Clark universe, if you will. Yeah, the exposition was dragged out and the climax was rushed. I don't know, maybe the short's longer in Florida, but longer in California if you play it backward. Or maybe just being a mummy short, they had to wrap it up quickly. <laughs> you knew what you were getting into when you subscribed to me. In order to bring these jokes to life, I needed special formulas concocted by my patrons who joined me on some Patreon live streams to watch the short and help me pick out joke opportunities that might otherwise have been lost in the rubble. If you would like to join the next Patreon live stream, even a $1 pledge gets you access. And at $2 or more, you can see the rest of this month's spooky videos, including next week's riff. It has ghost in the title, so it must be seasonally appropriate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go drink poison due to some oath of allegiance. I'll see you next week if the resurrection serum works. And until then, this is Dave, signing off.